Thomas Partey and Arsenal have landed in the United States. And uh, there was a sighting of the Ghanaian man who was under some tight security. According to the young man who took this video you're watching on your screen right now, spotting Thomas Partey, he, he is not allowed for fans to take pictures with him. No reason giving whatsoever. But he is in US uh, with Arsenal on the tour where they'll play some games. I'll be giving you more details today on that. We'll also be talking about the World Cup Trophy Tour, which will take place. The Ghana Football Association has met uh, with officials of Coca Cola, one of the main headline sponsors of the World Cup. The trophy will be in Ghana before the World Cup. I'll be revealing to you the date when the trophy will arrive. In the country. We'll also be talking about comments coming in from the camp of Kim Grant and Georgia Free. Georgia Free saying that those who helped us qualify to the World Cup do not have to be neglected. Kim Grant saying locally based players should not be neglected as well. I'll give you my two cents on what I think of those comments coming in from both camps. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. I'll start off from the camp of Thomas Partey, who has arrived uh, with his club teammates in uh, United States for their preseason tour, where they will play uh, Everton. They will also uh, be playing with Chelsea as well and with one American club. Arsenal, yesterday he left with them, returned to training this week amid so, many, so much speculation that he was going to be omitted from the squad. Initial reports indicated that he would not travel with the Gunners, uh, but eventually we saw him. Him traveling with them and this video popped up on social media with him in there no official photos of him on Arsenal uh, not that we need any photos but we all know the rumor that has been going around and uh, the the fan who got this picture and video of Thomas Partey was of the was saying that it was Thai security around him and even the video he took you could see someone stopping him from taking more videos for clarity we do not know the full story yet, but that is it there on the front of Partey and the Arsenal team who are in the United States for their preseason tour, which will come to the end on the 23rd of July. I move on to my next story, which has to do with the World Cup Trophy Tour. Um, earlier this year, I think in March, it was announced that the World Cup will go on a trophy tour throughout the 32 nations that have qualified. Ghana being one of the nations that has qualified is entitled to that and uh, the Ghana Football Association in light of that has paid a catchy call to Coca-Cola, one of the headline sponsors for the World Cup. The top executives and agency representatives of Coca-Cola met with the leadership of the FA to discuss issues of mutual benefit. The meeting took place on Friday, July 8th. Uh, discuss among the things for the 2022 FIFA World Cup trophy tour plans and programs to make the tour exciting and possible partners between the two entities. In the meeting, the FA was represented by Ket E.S. Okreku, the president, saying that we feel proud and honored to host this strong team from Coca-Cola. I think this has been made possible because we qualified for the World Cup beating Nigeria in Abuja, an incredible performance that won us the slot. I believe this meeting has come in handy since we have the, in the past discussed partnership possibilities. For growth and forward match of football, he added. Philip Buedu Asa, a franchise senior manager, equity territory, Dr. Aisha Fauzi, public affairs, communication, and sustainability director, West Africa Islands, and mid African franchise, and Eric Boama, public affairs manager at Coca Cola Company, were present at the meeting. Others included Yao Sechi Aferi, head of RIT, RIT Sports. One of the agencies activating the Coca-Cola FIFA World Cup tour, Kwabna Opoku, brand planner, West Africa Business Unit, Equatorial. Uh, the Coca-Cola bottling company and Peter Adambite Seno, Senior Accounts Manager for Echo House Ghana Limited. The FA and the Coca-Cola bottling company will in the coming days break communication on the FIFA World Cup trophy tour scheduled for Accra in September as part of the build-up to the tournament itself. So uh, the trophy tour will happen in September. Uh, they will come down to the country. I'm sure we will be there, obviously, and to bring you more pictures and updates on that front. But the FIFA Coca-Cola trophy tour will be happening in town in September here in the capital, Accra. Great to see the trophy. Hopefully we take some pictures and videos 
with that trophy here. My final story has to do with comments coming in from Kim Grant and Georgia Free concerning the team that should go to the World Cup. It has to do with players, one, according to Kim Grant, locally based, and two, players that uh, helped us qualify. Now, Kim Grant said, yes, he's happy with the new players that have come in. They will bring quality to the national team, but also it's about the local players as well. Don't neglect them. You need hungry and determined players to grow and come through the long-term future of the national teams and also the development of football itself, he told Happy FM. Kim Grant is of the view that giving home-based players the chance in the World Cup for the Black Stars will improve the standard of the league. And this is something that I've been hearing from time to time on social media. And I have to say, I don't 100% agree with this. I think what Ghana should be looking for are players that will improve the quality of the team and help us do well in the tournament, which is the World Cup. If those players in the time we are going to the World Cup are in form and are locally based players, fine, we can take them. But let's not make this agenda about pushing for locally based players when probably they might not make the cut. The focus should be on bringing in players who add value, who add quality, who make Ghana better and who will take us as far in the tournament as we want to go or as we possibly can. That should be the focus of the conversation here. I've heard another one about those who helped us qualify. Yes, uh, there are 36 players that helped us qualify, spanning three coaches. 26 players are allowed to go to the World Cup. No matter what we do, there will be people who will be disappointed with the final squad that is named. Focus on calling players who are deserving of call-ups than trying to push an agenda for players, one who are locally based, and those who have helped us reach the World Cup. We are not being unthankful or we are not being sort of ungrateful for their support or what they did for us in the past. This has to do aside with emotions. If at the time we are going to the World Cup, those players are not informed, should we take them because they just helped us or because they are locally based? I've heard this over and over again and I think it's not a conversation we should be having. In the time we will go to the World Cup, the players that are informed, that's meet the coach's standard in a system and whatever he wants to play and deserve to add quality or will add quality to the team will go to the World Cup. And that is as simple as that. People will be hurt no matter what squad we name. People will not be happy. You cannot please everyone. What you can do is pick the right people who will help Ghana get far in the World Cup. And ultimately, when it does happen, everyone will be happy. Those are my opinions on those comments coming in. Let me know yours in the comments box on that front. So that has been it for today. The World Cup Trophy Tour, the latest on Thomas Tay Party, and my thoughts on Kim Grant and Georgia Free's comments on players who should go to the World Cup. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week.